Hello guys and welcome back to Engineering Hack, where we try to solve engineering problems in a way that's hopefully easy to understand. I could not help myself but to tackle this problem because, you know, I was going back into um, Daniel Kahneman's book um, after the previous problem. If you haven't checked it, it's um, right here on the corner for you. I'm going to leave it there for you. Um, and this problem is, you know, exactly the same concept as the previous one. So if you got the, the, the last one wrong, you're going to get this right as long as you don't fall into the same exact trap. Okay, this is a famous problem used in psychology um, to show how, um, or to, I guess, argue that we, there's two ways that we can think about things and which ways our brain functions. And um, if we just... If we don't use the right way, quote unquote, the right way to solve this problem, which is a more analytical one, the one that requires focus and attention, then you get these kind of things wrong. And this is just, you know, an example of things that you do all the time with um, in your life. So this problem here is the bat and ball problem. And it says that the bat, a bat um, it reads like so, a bat and ball together costs a dollar and 10 cents. The bat costs one dollar more than the ball. How much does a ball cost? Okay, and going straight to the problem, what you think is, you know, if it's one point uh, one together and one is one dollar more than the other one, then it should be ten cents, right? The ball should cost cost ten ten cents, but that would be incorrect because if the ball costs ten cents and the um, and the bat costs one dollar more than the ball, then together they won't be one and ten, right? It won't be one and ten. Um, one thing's going to be incorrect. So if the ball were to cost 10 cents as you know our immediate answer uh, is then we're going to see okay so if this is the case then uh, because the bat costs one dollar more than the ball then the bat's going to cost one and ten and therefore the sum of the two is going to be one dollar and twenty cents and that is not what was said here right so therefore what we need to do is we can do this exactly the same process we did in the problem just before we say okay so if the bat plus the ball have a cost of 1.1 dollars and we know that the bat minus the ball equals uh, one dollar then because this is a system of two unknowns we can say two times the cost of the bat Two times the cost of the bat would just be two dollars and ten cents. So therefore, the cost of the bat is just half of that. So that's one. That's half. So that's one point oh five. Okay. So one point oh five is how much the bat costs. And if that's the case, then um, we can go back here, or let's go back here and say, okay, if that's the case, then therefore the ball will be 1.1 minus whatever the bat costs. And I'm obviously struggling here with the size of my marker. Minus whatever the bat costs. And we just found out that the bat actually costs 1.1, um, 1.05. So one, let's do this, 1.05. So therefore, the ball has to cost point, let's keep the, uh, 0.05 or 5 cents. So not 10 cents as our immediate instinct wants to tell us, but rather 5 cents. Okay, so I'm not going to spend much time here. I just wanted to tackle this problem because I think this is an amazing problem. This is, by the way, an amazing book. It's um, Thinking Fast and Slow. It's a thick book, but it's worth reading very much so. And if you're lazy, just you know, go online, look at the summary, or just look for a video on this. But it's, take my word for it, it's a great book, and you're not going to regret it if you like these kind of things. All right, so um, I hope this helped you out. I hope this was useful. Um, if it was, consider giving this video a like. If you got this problem right on the first try and didn't fall into the trap, um, let me know in the comment section below. If you got the previous one wrong, but this one right because you learned your lesson, even better, let me know below, and we'll talk soon.